Hello, today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to add a contact form to your, well, whatever page you want. We're going to do it on the contact page to your WordPress website using Contact Form 7. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to your web presence, put you in the fastest of success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. And uh, you can also subscri subscribe to the channel or um, join our list on the website and we'll let you know when we're adding new tutorials, uh, usually just in a weekly kind of email. All right, so with that we'll get started. First thing you want to do is go to the dashboard. And um, before I continue any more, uh, there is a table of contents below in the description that will, if you want to skip ahead for whatever reason, maybe you've already installed this plugin and you're just kind of stuck, you can do that. Otherwise, um, let's keep proceeding. You see what I did? We're going to add the plugin contact form seven. You can search Contact Form 7, or uh, I also put a link where you can download it directly in the in the uh, video description if you'd rather do it that way. Okay, so I'm just going to install that. Alright, now that's installed. Now on the left side, you're going to ha now have a, um, a contact link. So you're just going to click on that. And it comes with one form already all, all done for you, so you're going to edit. And then the fields that are in there, we'll do, I'll just show you how to put the form in first and then we'll uh, work on customizing the actual form. Um, first you're going to copy this short code. All right, now I'm going to open my site again in a new tab. I'm going to go to my contact page. I'll hit edit page and that code that you had copied before you just click in here paste it in hit update then you can view the page again and there it is you get your form all all in there a name email subject message all right your name your email now, um, you might want to add fields like phone number. You might want to change some of these. Um, you might not want to say your between before all of them. I'll show you what I usually do when I'm um, setting these up. All right, so we know what we want to change. But by now, we already know how to add, add the form in, which is good. So we'll go back to the form editor. All right. And... Um, before we even add fields, I just want to show you how you can kind of clean up the um, email because if you don't really change anything in here, it will work and it will come to you fine with just the message. But I like to change it so that the message's body is a little bit easier to understand. So what I do is you, um, and I can kind of, I'm just going to quickly show you what I mean. So I'm going to put in my name. Now, I'll put in the email. Uh, compete, uh, compete. Uh, no, 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 the rest is, I'll put the subject, test subject. They also think it's a little weird to have one of your fields be subject <laughs> sometimes. The message part. And then you hit send. And that goes right through. And now I'll show you. Let's see. Sign into my Hotmail. Okay, so here's the email that got sent through to me, and um, you'll see this the name where I put the name in. It just puts it in here, which isn't bad. And then the subject it puts whatever the person puts as a subject. And you click on it, and it says "From Compete Now." The subject and the message body better way to do it is take changing this around a little bit so you'll take the thing the body and you'll say name and then you copy this little bit of code short code here and then you put um, email okay and I usually don't like to have them put in what the subject of the email is. It kind of can look silly sometimes. So I'm going to change that field right now. 
But to do that, on the left side, you'll see where it says subject, and then it'll automatically take whatever they put for their subject. Instead of that, I'll say website, website inquiry. I'll usually just put, all right, and then when you see where it says your subject, um, this other stuff after you copy the name and email, um, you can just delete the stuff above it. Okay. Now subject, let's make it phone instead. So to add in a new submission, you go to the right, you see where it says generate tag, get that drop down. There's radio buttons, there's check boxes, um, there's CAPTCHA, file upload. We're not going to cover all the um, the add-ons, we're trying to just show how to do a simple form. Um, so for the phone, we're just going to do a text field. If you want to make it required, you just hit this checkbox. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make it required. All right. Now you want to take this code in this brown right here, and you want to put it on the left side. So I'm just going to swap it in with the one that was for subject. Oh, I just copied that. Do that again. Perfect. And now I'm going to change the title. Phone. And then I like the little asterisk just for the required. I don't like spelling out required completely, so I'm going to do that on these two also. And I also don't like you know your name, your email. You can just put name, email. It's unnecessary wording. All right. Now below, you want to do phone back in the body and you want to take the one in the green on the right down here and that's where you want to put it put it in and here okay to change who the email goes to you just change the to field all right simple as that now you hit save now we can look at our form again all right name email phone message all right, I'll do that again. Compete. How about Dave? And we'll do Dave at Dave.com. And we'll do uh, uh, a message. Uh, this is the message. All right. All right, that was sent successfully. Check that again. There it is, and you'll see the name still goes in here, but now the subject is just website inquiry. When you click on it, it's not it's a little bit easier to understand name, Dave, email, phone number, message body. Alright. So there are a lot of other things you can play around with. You can change different error messages, you can do all that, but I'm just trying to show you how to do a simple contact form like this on your WordPress website. Uh, if you have questions, just let us know. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials give you the keys to our presence, put you in the fastest to success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials.